Part 1 The Theory of Extended Thinking In this part, I'll analyze experiments of etology which show how the causality is an innate principle, not to be derived from individual experience. Like other concepts, such as causality, the idea of continuity and contiguity of the substance, part or whole, the idea of locations and continually. It therefore argues that there are hierarchies in thought, hierarchies through which the categories of concepts are older than others, hierarchically heavier than others. The basic idea is that thoughts have different weights, different densities, different values, such as think to drink a coffee is not how to think the being of Parmenides. You can easily eliminate from our minds an idea of which jacket to wear, otherwise it is very difficult, if not with a huge effort, delete from the mind the idea that things have a cause. Ideas are therefore innate, atavistic, universal and especially not individual. Moreover, they are not as collective as would like young as the other community is another individuality. But these ideas are even higher than the being and they determine the being. In the work it is argued that, by virtue of this hierarchy, a thought that calls into question the concepts, it can be derived from the higher classes. For example, think about making a move to obtain a result, inevitably called the idea of cause and effect, and these in turn give a continuity and these brings into play the idea of substance as an ontological proximity of being. It is stated consequently particular ideas are at a lower hierarchical position to ideas supremely higher and these still as supreme forms precisely to the two original forms made persist. Here called substance and dream, considered as a subst substantial continuity. It is stated, consequently, particular ideas are at a lower hierarchical position to ideas supremely higher, and these still as supreme forms precisely the two, the two original forms matrices, here called substance and dream, considered as a substantial continuity and discontinuity ID of unreality, from these the two forms matrices can be deduced every other thought as under thought of hierarchically lower nature. The two original forms taken separately giving the being, the two original forms connected, they explode, they cancel each other and generate the nothing. The nothing therefore is not the absence of shape but is the union of two original forms and matrices. These two antithetical forms to be fully understood, they deserve to be studied also by virtue of the second part of the work on the unconscious. First of all, even though the concept seems similar, the vacuum concept and the nothing concept have some different nuances. What is known as conscious in the second book of the work is a special provision of these terms of extended thinking, while the unconscious is given by another provision of the terms of thought. Therefore, they are not the terms. 
they are elements of thought to determine the conscious or unconscious by the way they arrange themselves. That said, it is also evaluated the manner of working of the unconscious which has a precise logic set theory. The two original forms connect together, produce a nothing, which is perceived as empty by conscious only, whereas the unconscious considers as mentioned on page 179. Empty classes, for example, P and not P, as if they were not empty, if in classical logic, for example, a human being can be dead or alive. For the unconscious, a human being can be alive and dead. De facto, it exceeds the principle of non-contradiction Aristotelian and it equals and connects the alternatives. For example, the proposition of conjunction or has no value in the unconscious. The two original forms are already intimately connected and the intimate nature of reality is already in the nothing. This understood not just as empty but as coexistence of forms, which the unconscious clearly perceives it as full, as just seen in the paragraph full continuous and the discrete a line does not allow to distinguish the points which is composed. It is the thought putting attention to find these points. The world itself is continuous, otherwise empty, but the thought makes it discrete. The egregores are the fine centers of force, aggregates of thoughts, not indi individual, which extract to them similar thoughts. The extended thinking is a totality of egregores, which in, in turn aggregated into super clusters of centers of gravity, even bigger until reaching the great egor. <laughs> tali tutto l'ultimo pezzo di cominciamo the egregores are the divine centers da capo tagliamo the egregores are the divine centers of force aggregates of thoughts not individual which attract to them similar thoughts the extended thinking is the totality of egregores, which in turn aggregated into superclusters of centers of gravity, even bigger until reaching the great egregores. The egregores attract like a magnet kindred thoughts, increasing their power. What it can say is there are, as in the logic of sets, all sorts of thoughts and ideas united by specific properties such as fatherhood brings into play the idea of creation, of causality, security and so on. A way of understanding the egregores or aggregates is just a super ensemble which it has as elements a large number of thoughts with the same properties. These super ensembles are the elements themselves of other super masses of ensembles only. What it is to say in this example, the ensemble precisely becomes it is formed by thoughts elements. It is to a certain extent identified with the totality of it its elements. This is the mutual relationship of all with his parts. The ensemble confers 
the property to its elements, and the element receives it, but without the element should come less the same ensemble too. Therefore, both give and receive. If a thought arises similar to that ensemble, it will be immediately attracted from the more powerful ensemble, from the more massive. Concerning the issue of consciousness already treated in the work, it is seen as an anomalous reproduction of some elements of thought reproduced in an unusual way, obsessive, uncontrolled reproduction, so it is easier to think that it arises in one of these centers of force, egregorous, once a critical mass has been reached. I should dare to add, the consciousness precisely because of this virtue of uncontrolled and obsessive reproduction of cognitive elements. It is like to a tumor mass. It is the, can the cancer of thought. It is the cancer of thought.